Okay. I know it's working, Birch, but we could sure use another one. The technology behind those coils is so sophisticated. More money. With that technology, we could have the great planes to take cover in no time. Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Cause I got some samples. Mine. <laughs> That's a Mikanak. In Huron Indian folklore, it's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Dubano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. The ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mikanak thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is, it won't do it anymore. Even if he doesn't kill us in our sleep, that link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. You listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest. Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. You picked a strange time to assert yourself, Virgil. Why'd you back Jesse's quest for this ridiculous compound? Just because the scientists at the manor didn't find anything, doesn't mean there isn't something there. I mean, did they ever let you take a look? No. We have a habit at Calico of making the impossible happen, Doctor. I fixed Mr. Jesse's gauntlet, made it better even. Scott found the best lead we have with those leeches. If anyone can make that compound work, it's you. Those are Edgar's. Must have found that planet here. Okay. 
trail leads this way. Christ, wish I had a map of this place. That sounds like trouble. Something broke the boat, but it looks like you managed to escape. Must have been in a hurry if he dropped his damn crossbow. I'm sure Edgar wouldn't mind if I took advantage of this little beauty. except those freaks. Smells like death. Jesus. Who the hell would want to say spider web. I hate spiders.
twisted and covered with thorns. It grows only in the marshlands. They're teeth marks. Oh, it's sucked dry. Why, some desperate soul looking for a cure? Uh, it's of no use to me now. That eight-legged freak was hunting him down. Guess this is that giant arachnid's lair. He's not wrapped up like a mummy in a web. Guess he got away. Let's stick to the facts. Bloom research vampiric legends. A, a lot of myths and hoo-ha about some sort of plan. One that could allegedly reverse the process of the change. It's considered an affront to the purity of the royal blood. Ominous. But can it work? From a biological point of view? Now and then, some of those legends contain a grain of truth. An endemic species like this may have peculiar properties. If researched properly, some cell mutations, I don't know. Imagine how many people we could save if you made it work. Look, I'm not a miracle worker, Virgil, but I'll give him a best shot. Almost got killed to keep that plant safe, <laughs> but kept on going. That's true grit.
both used to be thick as thieves. Ugh. Got it. Look healthy. Better run quick before it sinks. thing down on top of me.
you die. <laughs> there. I'm almost there. Trust you, Edgar. I'm starting to doubt your net Money?
should work now. Over here! for the hand but I had it under control you can tell I found the plan the locals call it La Orchid de la Vida or something foreign like that we get this back to Calico squeeze it out and maybe we have ourselves a way to turn this around I'm sorry I got you into this yeah. getting your ass out of the fire has kind of become a habit Edgar you can't keep doing this forever when those ticks attack the manor what did your father do? Run? Nah. He kept on squeezing the trigger. That's what he did. People like us don't retire, Jesse. Even if you're lucky enough to live long enough, you'll soon realize there's nothing waiting for you. There is no normal for people like me or your father. And I was uh, naive to think there might be some normal for you. Anyway. Now that just about everyone else in the Institute is dead, I figure you and your daddy are gonna need all the help you can get to build things back up again. Well, first you give me those pretty flowers, then you get all emotional on me. Edgar, you ain't gonna try to kiss me now, are you? You little shit. <laughs> Damn it, Harrow's here. You backstabbing witch! You ratted us out! Dr. Blackwell, I know we've had our differences, but this... For your information, I had nothing to do with Mr. Harrow's sudden appearance on our doorstep. But thank you for confirming how little faith you have in me. Now, I don't presume to know how things work for you, gentlemen. But I can assure you that Calico wasn't built on broken words and betrayed confidences. Women in my position don't have that privilege. Now, I assume you have the plant? We do. Good. And there are clean syringes and alcohol swabs in the lab. Five minutes is all we need. Taking it. <laughs> Mr. Gravener is looking for you, sir. He's in the basement with his father.
What's that swampy stuff? Oh, sir! Back from the mission, I see. If you found that plant, then that... Come on, William. I've seen you survive... Feeling that somewhat squeezy, my brain. Oh, there's some thoughts in here that, that aren't mine. Oh, I see her, Jesse. Oh, no, you must stop her before. Wait, wait, I see Sai Dickinson. She's in Dickinson. I need to get to Dickinson. Tough old bastard, he's turning it around on her. It's gonna be a hard sell to Harrow. Gotta try. You keep an eye on him. And keep your hands off that switch. Sir, Mr. Harrow is waiting in the briefing room. Did you really think it was smart to keep the money guy in the you Assistant Secretary Harrow, sir. Agent Rentier. And Dr. Blackwell brought me up to speed on your father. Sir, we... I know. It couldn't have been easy. His shadow will loom large over us all. Please accept my condolences on behalf of a grieving nation. And try not to wallow in grief. It only leads to blunder. And this country desperately needs success. Aside from the news of your father's tragic demise, I've also briefed the Assistant Secretary on the successful destruction of Felicity's leech factory in McCallum Sawmill. That and a penny will buy me a cup of warm piss, Doctor. No one is safe while that crazy she-beast and her army of freaks are on the loose. And do you have any idea where she is? No. Actually, I do, sir. We have intel that she's currently in Dickinson. What intel? Can't say, but it's 100% solid. Great. You can head for Dickinson after you get back from Kingston. Kingston? There's a case containing some very sensitive information there that I need picked up. But, sir, the Dickinson lead. There's at least three interstate railroads there. It might be a part of Felicity's transport. Very well. You. You there. What's your name? Olney? Virgil? Olney? Do you know your way to Kingston, only Virgil? I, uh, With all due respect, Mr. Assistant Secretary, Virgil is our top engineer. I, he is not fit for field action. I don't give a watery shit about his curriculum fucking vitae, Doctor. I'm funding this circus of yours, and I want those papers back now. Mm. I'll get them for you. What do I need to know? We recently got our hands on a partial list of companies tied to the Andalusia Financial Services Group, like McCallum's Mill and the Kingston Oil Fields. Tabano. Tabano, indeed. He and his maniacal brat are up to their assholes in illegal acquisitions, and the government intends to seize their not insubstantial portfolio. Sounds like you need a lawyer, not a vampire hunter. Tried that already. I even sent in the blasted National Guard to secure the papers. But the place was guarded. That's where you come in. So what exactly am I looking for? Based on the final telegram from my forensic accountant, Andalusia's portfolio of holdings is stashed in a briefcase, presumably still at the Kingston Oil Fields Bureau on the far side of the lake. I still don't get why it's more urgent than looking for Felicity and Dickinson. Wars cost money, Rentier. And unless you've forgotten the incident at your former headquarters, we are at war. This could very well turn the tides in our favor. Oh, let's get 
this over with. You all right, folks? I need to find the office. You crazy? The whole area's been totally overrun by bloodthirsty freaks. The National Guard's fighting back, but there's too many of those monsters. If they don't get some help soon, we're all goddamn doomed. Easy. Instructions. I have assessed the value of these assets, and I can assure you that the Kingston oil fields are still pumping and extremely profitable. If properly managed, they can bring in hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars per year. Guard flooded the fields, but my friends were stuck on the other side.
money. Thank you, stranger. We thought we were goners. Is there some way we can repay you? Yeah, you can point me towards the oil company office. Oh, it's on the other side of the lake. Though you're gonna have to drain it to get over there. Release all counterweights and you'll open the sluice gates. Got through. Let's drain this sucker.
that it? Hey! Who's there? Shit. For a second there, I thought you were one of those demons. The National Guard barricaded us inside here before they headed off to protect the company office. If you want to find the man in charge, you need to use that crane to move those crates. For letting us out. The office. Where is it? I need the man in charge. There's no way to get there from here. Unless you use the zip line from the top of that tower. That'd be crazy. Please, you gotta help my buddies. Once you get on the other side, just follow the packs. It's a kind of maze, but just keep going. <sighs> so glad you made it, sir. After a closer examination, I believe these trust documents are suspect. Every 30 years, the property rights are transferred to the next generation. However, I believe that Peter DeBono has likely been deeding them to himself for who knows how many years. Sincerely yours, Jonathan Q. Biddle.
Time someone sent in the cavalry. I've been hiding here for a week. This ain't a rescue mission, so watch your mouth. I'm here to pick up some documents for Assistant Secretary Harrow. Documents? I don't know anything about any documents. Oh, uh, these documents? You must be the accountant. Uh, Jonathan Q. Biddle at your service. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Harrow promised me immediate backup, as long as I kept this safe. Harrow's written you off, Biddle. Sent me for the case, not you. All I know is that DC wants that portfolio seized. DC? What an asshole. Harrow isn't trying to leverage this property for the government you ate. He wants it for himself. He wrote me into this scheme for a cut of the profits, and now he's hung me out to dry. That asshole. How big a cut? Ten percent. Hope it was worth all those soldiers' lives, you greedy little pissworm. I'll take that. Whoa, 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 wait! What about me? How'll I get home? Walk. <laughs> 